Reality TV stars rarely make it into my beat. So when I saw that Kim Kardashian had launched her own private equity firm, I knew I had to take a look. The firm is called Sky, S-K-K-Y, and she's partnered with a guy called Jay Sammons, who is an ex-executive of Carlyle Group, which is basically a big name old school investment firm. And mom Kris Jenner is also on board as partner. Now Kim is definitely entrepreneurial. In fact, she's worth around an estimated 2.6 billion dollars at least according to Forbes. But most of her previous businesses have focused on consumer goods like clothing, perfume and skincare. So this new venture into private equity is kind of left of field, not exactly on brand. But as you'll see in this video, there are in fact two very good reasons for Kim Kardashian to enter into private equity. In fact, it's the same reason that dozens of celebrities and influencers are doing the same thing. But before I go on, if you like videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you've got any feedback I'd love to hear, feel free to leave in the comment section below. So there's not a lot of information out yet about the firm. In fact, this is all that's on their website. We do know that the firm will be focused on consumer goods and media, which is basically her business partner Salmon's background, being the ex-global head of consumer goods in media and retail at Carlyle Group. But typically the way that private equity works is they'll start by raising capital. So in other words, they will go to big shot investors and ask them for their money. It is not open to the general public. It is usually a rich people thing. Although who knows, Kim Kardashian could surprise us all. They will then take that money and invest it into companies. Often, although not all of the time, these are private companies, meaning that they're not listed on a stock exchange. And in doing so, the private equity firm will get a controlling stake in the company. The more that the firm invests, the bigger the controlling stake. In many cases, it's an outright takeover. So they will buy a struggling company, strip it down, put in their own management, market and promote the heck out of it, and then sell it on for a profit. They'll then pass some of those profits onto investors and keep a nice chunk of it for themselves. And it's historically a very successful strategy for making money. Like when you hear about hugely successful investors, a lot of the time they made their fortunes through private equity takeovers, not trading on the S&P. In fact, Warren Buffett himself made his first million in private equity, culminating in the takeover of Berkshire Hathaway which by the way was a textile business until Buffett seized it and turned it into the investment firm we all know and love today. For this reason, they definitely have a bit of a shark-like reputation in the corporate world. So why are celebrities getting involved? Well, it's not hard to imagine how celebrities like the Kardashians might do a pretty good job of this simply by merit of being famous brand ambassadors. Like add a celebrity name to a brand and that brand is probably gonna be worth more than it was. In fact, a bunch of celebrities have already jumped on the private equity bandwagon, including Serena Williams, Will Smith, and Ashton Kutcher. As one of the world's top influencers, Kim Kardashian is already a leader in brand marketing. Companies pay her as much as $1 million for a single Instagram post. And in return, those often obscure companies are suddenly globally recognized. So picture this, Sky buys a relatively unknown, say, makeup brand for a couple million dollars. Kim then starts posting about the company on social media or even starts talking about it on her reality TV show. The business inevitably gets millions of new customers overnight and suddenly becomes worth a lot more than it was. Sky then either continues to reap the extra profits or sells the company on for a lot more than what they bought it for. In many ways, the Kardashian and Jenner clan is already doing this for companies, just without that extra revenue they would be making if they also had a stake in the company. And more and more celebrities and influencers are starting to take notice of this missed opportunity. So much so that venture capitalists are starting to complain that they're actually losing out on a big chunk of the market to influencers and celebrities who are offering their own startup deals, at least according to this interview on Business Insider. I think my favorite quote from the anonymous venture capitalist here is, you spend a lot of time trying to convince some 23 year old shit that you are better than some internet celebrity who they think is going to be more effective than you are because they have more Twitter followers, which I find is hilarious. But I digress. So the first reason that Kardashians might be interested in private equity is they're basically tapping into a largely still untapped opportunity and one that could make them a lot more money than they already have. I admit the second reason is kind of speculative, but the truth of it is that private equity firms are also a great way to squirrel away tax obligations. And we all know rich people love to avoid the tax man. 
A recent estimate in the US suggests that at least $75 billion a year is lost thanks to partners and private equity not accurately disclosing their income. That is twice as much as what the US spends on education. And that's not to mention the totally legal tax loopholes that private equity creates. And it also wouldn't be the first time the Jenna Kardashian clan has been accused of using a business to write off taxes. Of particular note is the church that was founded by Kris Jenner, which requires a monthly membership fee of $1,000 and a donation of 10% of their annual income. A donation of 10% for someone like Kim Kardashian would of course be around several million dollars a year. Several million dollars which would be tax deductible and which would be going directly into the hands of her mum who owns the church. This is of course just a popular theory and even if it were the case, it's still totally legal. Which brings us back to the original question, why would Kim Kardashian launch a private equity firm? I would say, why would she not launch a private equity firm? It is a great way for the wealthy to become even wealthier. That being said, I also think it would be hilarious if Kim somehow incorporated this into her reality TV show. Like I am picturing some kind of a crossover between The Apprentice and Keeping Up With The Kardashians where Kim is like, you are fired across a giant boardroom table. I think that would be worth watching. Anyway, that's it from me. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the subscribe button and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks a lot, guys.